guys, welcome back. Thank you for coming back. Um, I'm making a tutorial tonight on encapsulating craft glitter in dip powder. These are the craft glitters I'm going to use. Uh, one of them is called Pink Opal. Pink Opal? Yes. And it is round craft glitter. Um, it's white but reflects pink, really pretty. And then the other one I'm going to use tonight is called Patina. Um, it is kind of like a matte glitter. I think it's really, really pretty. I love dot glitter. And I get these at M and Cat's Glitter Factory. Uh, it's a Canadian company. Um, I'm going to do two different flavors of fingernails tonight. Um, I'm going to pair this white, or sorry, this pink opal with Rebel Nails Esme. I love this color so much. Um, it's kind of purple, kind of blue. Can my camera ever focus? Ugh, oh, it's spelled E-S-M-E. -E. That's what you would see if my camera focused. And then I'm using the Patina um, glitters with a grab bag pink. It's kind of a sheer pink. It's sort of like one or two steps up from scarlet when you're looking at like translucency. Uh, but it's really, really pretty and I think it'll show off these glitters really well. Uh, and then of course I'm using lots and lots of Vivian because encapsulating that means you're putting it underneath something and it's going to be going underneath Vivian. Um, last night I cut all my nails off. I only did one hand. I did a Manny on one hand. I've got uh, Rebel Nails Emily on here and Manny Mogul's Glitterazzi, I think. I can never keep them straight. What's Glitterama, Glitterazzi, gl Glitter, whatever the hell the other one is. I can never, ever keep them straight or remember. Um, but yeah, last night was Valentine's. Uh, my husband and I don't celebrate Valentine's stuff, so we just gave the kids some um, chocolates and things like that, but we don't we don't have like a Valentine's thing. Um, so I did my nails. He did a puzzle for a little bit, um, and it was just like I just cut my nails off because I was like, I need to start fresh. Everything kind of got turned upside down yesterday in the nail community. I don't want to say a whole heck of a lot about it because it's it's not my place. I, I'm not deep enough into any of this. I don't know enough people on a personal level. I will just say that I hope this blows over quickly. I hope um, that all the groups and... Uh, Instagram and everything uh, keeps sort of a level head and behaves in a way that you would want to be treated whether or not you have made a grave mistake because everybody makes grave mistakes. I'm not excusing it at all. I'm just ha have been on the other end of um, screwing up and yeah, I, I mean it's um, Again, it's not my place to say. I don't know these girls. I've had very few um, interactions with them. I have never had a bad experience myself. I know that a lot of people um, say that they have. So I like I, I probably shouldn't even be addressing this because it's it has nothing to do with me. But I just wanna say, I hope that everybody kind of um, is able to have a little bit of empathy because uh, getting caught, getting called out and being forced to look at mistakes you've made, uh, being forced to look at how you could have hurt people is a really shitty place to be. Um, and I, uh, unless you're a sociopath and these people aren't, I, I mean, they're just not, you can't, you, you can't pin that on somebody. Um, so I, I know that, um, everybody involved in this, everybody who has, um, you know, lost friends, lost jobs, lost, uh, respect. It's, uh, it, it's gotta be a horrible place to be. And I just, I, I hope everybody, again, it blows over, things can go back to normal and everybody is just lifting each other up and not, taking part in the destruction of somebody else because that is 
that's shitty. Don't like, don't do that. It's just, it's a shitty thing to do. You should be lifting each other up. I, um, I have definitely taken part in, um, you know, talking, uh, talking shit and you shouldn't do it. And it, this is, uh, you know, every once in a while you get a reminder by somewhere in your life that, you know what, you're not perfect. You have absolutely no right to be saying something negative about something somebody else. So just keep your damn mouth shut. If you wouldn't say it to somebody's face, don't say it behind their back. And that is something that I have had impressed in me from um, my father from a very young age. And I think that that's kind of helped to keep me true to myself. Uh, I will often say what I'm thinking to your face, but at least you know where I stand, where I'm at. Um, but yeah, let's all just try to have a little bit of grace with each other, a little bit of empathy on both sides, and hopefully get back to a place where everybody is just enjoying each other, enjoying the art, enjoying each other's manicures, and reaching out and making friends. And um, I, I hope that this leads to maybe a bit more transparency in the industry and not such a kind of like a, a clicky feeling place uh, because it's I mean it's miserable for everybody I want everybody if they have a question ask me if they have an opinion about this I want to hear about it of course I do um, it's it's I mean this is something that's important to me this community is important to me uh, the friends that I've made and I've made real actual friends um, so it's I mean everybody's opinion is valid of course it is just it doesn't have to be like literally crammed down somebody's throat and and shake them about until they dissolve as a person so keep your heads about you do the right thing if you wouldn't say it to somebody's face don't type it on the internet anywhere uh and that's all i'm gonna say about that i just hope everybody involved everybody involved can recover from this and move forward with their lives and um it doesn't and in a, a, a horrible way for anybody. So um, that's it. I'm zipping it on the topic there. Uh, but I feel like it would be silly to not not mention it because it's uh, it was nail apocalypse, right? I said it last night in my live. It was I woke up from a nap and I was just like, holy God, what happened? Um, yeah. So that's that's all I'm gonna say about that. I am going to flip everything around, get to my manicure, and. Um, yeah yeah that's it that's all i got i'm having a little sip because it's a big one and i will see you guys on the flip side of this manicure thanks for coming back okay hi guys i'm gonna try to do this not voiceover style because i have a house to myself for once so uh it should be relatively quiet um all right so i did my nails so far i have um esme on these three fingers and i have the grab bag pink on these two and i've already done the patina dot glitter and encapsulated on these two guys um, i'm just going to show you on one finger how to do it so that you don't have to watch the whole rest of it um, yeah i think i'll show you on this finger yeah i'll show you on this one all right so i'm going to zoom in a little bit so you can actually see what i'm doing uh, and i'm going to do my very best to keep everything in the frame uh, so you need your craft glitter i like to put it in a cupcake liner or something flat so that uh, you can kind of do that and keep it all on like one one layer so you can pick up individual glitters um, and I also use a wax pencil um, this is like a fancy wax pencil that I bought from eBay definitely eBay um, it just it it picks up your little individual it's for picking up like rhinestones or or glitters or anything you want to stick on your nail individually and detailed like if you don't have one of these uh, you can also use a q-tip that has been uh, dampened slightly I used to use that before I had this this is actually really helpful though because it comes with this like pointed end where you can push glitters around in your base and stuff to get it exactly where you want it so they're pretty handy to have uh, I like using it um, and I have my Vivian open and I have my Revel Easy Liquid because it has a longer drying time than the Pro Liquids. And uh, that's, 
that's helpful when you're placing glitters one by one. So uh, yeah, I'm just gonna get to it and show you how I do. Um, I think for this one I will do like there, I'm trying to keep everything different. You know what, no, I'm not even gonna do this finger. I'm gonna do my thumb because I don't wanna have it all next to each other. I'm gonna do my thumb, so I'm gonna do it like along this edge. So um, get a bunch of base because you kind of want it to be like globbed on there because you want to be able to get glitters in. Um, so I get lots on there. And then stick it all in the area thick. <laughs> in the amount of area you think you're going to be able to work in because um, there's no point in putting it on if it's just going to dry. So I've got a bunch on there. I'm going to set that aside to grab my little wax rhinestone picker upper. Grab one of my glit grab one of my glitters and start placing them. Yeah, see, like this little end, super handy. I don't know why my furnace has to kick on every single time I'm filming anything, but it does, and I hope it's not too annoying. It probably is. Kind of like that. Is that enough? No. I'm going to add a little bit more coming up the side. I'll grab a little bit more base. You know what, I don't like that big guy. Too big for up there, so go away. I think maybe I'll just do some tiny ones coming up the side. And one more and I'm going to call it quits. Um, less is more. I think I was in the habit all the time of just like going wild with this stuff. And then uh, the next day I'd look at my manicure and be like, how drunk was I? Uh, so I always like to stop a little bit before I think I should. That glitter is no good. I think my base is dry. So that's that. I've got those placed. I think I might just leave it on the thumb and leave these other two Esme's plain because I really like it. So um, what I like to do next is I do a layer of base then over what I've done. Um, and I kind of let that dry, but I do a, a layer of base over the whole nail so that it's not um, uneven. You wouldn't think that base makes a difference, but it does when you go to file and try to smooth things out. So I'll leave that to dry. Um, but I'm impatient. I don't want to just wait, so I'm going to drop some activator on it. And uh, don't touch it to your... I just literally like to drop it.
I usually have a dropper bottle, but it's empty and I'm lazy and I haven't refilled it. Um, activator cures the base immediately. So I'm gonna wipe off my activator brush, even though you don't really have to. So I'm gonna give it another minute or two because I don't wanna, I don't wanna screw up my pro base brush. Lucky for you, I can speed through this. Okay, and then the whole point of encapsulated glitter is that you're going to encapsulate it in your dip. So you have to put something over this. Uh, I, of course, I'm gonna use Vivian because I use it for everything. Um, yeah, so just one even layer of base again. And dip into Vivian. You know what? I'm looking at this now and I feel like it's going to be a little bit plain. Clean this up. So I am actually going to put, I think I'm going to put like two of the tiny ones. Just two. No, I'm going to do. Yep, I'm going to put two. Maybe three. I don't really like even numbers of stuff on my nails. All right. But where? Where do I put it? Over here. I always choose to do these like detailed manis on my right hand like an idiot. So I have to use my left hand to do the detail work. And my left hand is a moron. There. That looks haphazard and carefree, doesn't it? Yeah. I like it. I think that's better. Mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm. Okay. And you can kind of do this with anything. Like, I'm using craft glitter, but if you have like a leaf that you really enjoy, if you have a four-leaf clover or something, you can put that on your fingernails. You can put whatever you want on your fingernails. You can put some basil in your fingernails. You can put some lavender in your fingernails. You just follow the same steps. Like, do your base dips. Um, I activate before I do my glitter placements. Um, I activate, then put some base down, stick on whatever you want to stick on. A layer of base, let it dry, another layer of base, and a dip of clear, Vivian. And uh, yeah, you can stick anything you want there. You can stick a penny, you can stick a whole coin on your fingernail if you want. You're gonna use up a lot of base and you're gonna use up a lot of Vivian, but I don't know. I'm not one to judge. I'm not gonna kink shame. You wanna put a penny on your fingernail? By all means. I'm gonna do a, a dip of Vivian on my uh, plain index finger that has nothing going for it right now. Okay, I am going to pause it here. I'm gonna do my finishing steps, which is just the same way you would do any dip finishing step. Uh, activate, file buff, activate again, and top coat. And I will, um, I'll see you guys in a few minutes once I have all of that done and I'll show you what I've got. Okay, I brought you guys back for the top coat. Um, it's always nice to see a top coat go on, isn't it? I think it's lovely. Uh, I don't have any more of my Revel Finish Gel left. It's it's gone. I'm waiting for a refill uh, because I'm not giving up my glass bottle. So I uh, I'm waiting on my refill to come in. So I'm using this uh, random brand. Like what? I, it easy. Professional Healthy Dip New Technology Dip Top Dip System Number Four. It says distributed by Bossy Canada on the back. I have gone uh, through all of the Googling and for the life of me, I can't find what the hell Bossy Canada is. However, there's a little store 
an hour and a half away from me that I can purchase it at. Will I be doing so? Probably not. Am I gonna make that trek again? No. But, I actually like this top coat. Um, it's a good substitute when I'm waiting on finish gel. Uh, but yeah, no, it's very, uh, very strange that I can't find any information about it online. Because the little nail supply store that I went to in Mississauga, it has like a whole line and like a ton of colors from this easy dip system distributed by Bossy Canada. There's a ton of products in the store, so I don't understand um, why I can't find any information on them online. There's like, there's no website on the bottle. There's nothing, there's no information. Bossy Canada, where do I find it? Because I like it and it's a Canadian company. So that's kind of awesome. Like I would, I would absolutely support them and try dips and all that kind of stuff. But uh, I don't know where to buy it other than that store an hour and a half away. And I just don't have time for that most times. So um, I'm gonna use this easy dip top professional nail system. Step three into, or story, step four until it's gone. And then I'll probably never, ever see it again. But whatever. Such is life. Ugh, have I mentioned how much I love Esme? It's so pretty. The only problem is with Esme is the name because I um, cannot for the life of me use this product without thinking of the whole Twilight series. Rin Esme. All right, so here we go. All done. Let me zoom in. Can we see? Come on, camera. Focus. Oh, almost focused. Almost. There. So, yeah. There are my glitters, and they are encapsulated. And you can tell because it's super shiny, and you can't see any lumps or bumps where the glitters are. It's just an even surface yeah so that's that i hope it's helpful for somebody like i said you can kind of stick anything under a clear layer of dip and it will be cool depending on what you put under there maybe i'll try to do like a just have an idea maybe i'll do like a ridiculous uh encapsulation challenge. Ooh, am I going to start a YouTube challenge? Ridiculous encapsulation dip powder challenge. Hashtag. Um, I don't know. I'm not good at hashtags. I'm going to have to find a friend that's good at that. Anyways, so that's what it is. That's what it looks like at the end. I'll take some pictures tomorrow in daylight and put it up at the end of the video. That's it, guys. Thanks for hanging in uh, for this one. And um, yeah, I need some cuticle oil. <laughs> Obviously, not obviously, because this effing camera won't there. We, yep, I need some cuticle oil. So I'm gonna go do that, and I will see you guys on the next video. Bye.